Welcome to our channel. In today's subject, we will be talking about the top 10 playing card games to play at home or if you're looking for something to do. Rain Man? Yeah. Let's play some cards. Yeah. People like card games is that they derive pleasure from these leisure pursuits. It thoroughly entertains people and keeps them occupied. They help them relax and rejuvenate. I don't believe we've had the pleasure of your company before. So that they are able to get rid of all kinds of stress. Before we start to unfold the card games with our countdown, please don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to our amazing channel. We do appreciate all our viewers and subscribers. Here we go at number 10. Number 10. Spades. Truly takes the skill of reading a peer's actions. Thanks, surely. Help me, Mr. Spade. I need help so badly. I have no right to ask you. I know I haven't, but I do ask you. Help me. Peer's actions to the next level. This intense game of playing cards to further yourself and your teammate in predicting how many tricks you will win based not only on yourself but also based on the mental connection between you and your partner. This is one of our favorites because it relies not on luck of the draw, but on pure strategy and knowledge of your partner. This game is the best in our opinion. Here we go at number 9. Number 9. Rummy. Rummy is a group of matching card games, notable for similar gameplay based on matching cards of the same rank or sequence and same suit. The basic goal in any form of Rummy is to build melds, which can be either set three or four of a kind of the same rank or runs three or more sequential cards of the same suit. If a player discards a card, making a run in the discard pile, it may not be taken up without taking all cards below the top one. Depending on the variation of the game, players take turns adding and shedding cards from their hands. There are numerous and quite different ways of doing this, though it usually involves picking a card from the stock and discarding a card to the discard pile. In some variations, melds are revealed to all players by placing them face up on the table, in other variations each player keeps their hand hidden until the show. Here we go at number 8. Number 8, Blackjack. Blackjack is the most widely played casino banking game in the world. Let's see what we can do with this. Like I'm having one of those days. The game is played with decks of 52 cards and is an American descendant of a global family of banking games known as 21. This family of card games also includes the British game of pontoon and the European game. Blackjack players do not compete against each other. The game is a comparing card game where each player competes against the dealer. A gambling card game in which players try to acquire cards with a face value totaling 21 and no more. Small cards from 2 to 9 are valued according to the rank. For example, 4 is valued as 4 points and 8 as 8. High cards, 10s, jacks, queens and kings are valued as 10 points. Here we go at number 7. Number 7, Bridge. Bridge is the ultimate card game. Now, uh, that this game is over, how about playing some bridge? You play bridge? I play bridge a little. What do you play for? Human element, the logical analysis element, and the perception reasoning of one's brain to play well. No wonder computers even today still can't play at levels near experts. It is the king of card games. Bridge is the best card game. It can be played at the highest level with no luck, and it can be played casually over a few drinks. Whether playing for money or pride, this game offers something for everyone. Bridge is the thinking player's game, where all bits of information can be important, from what seems like a throwaway bid, to what cards are dumped during. The game consists of a number of deals, each progressing through four phases, the cards are dealt with the players, and then the players call or bid in an auction. No, not for me. Yes? Yes. I don't get it. 
seeking to take the contract, specifying how many tricks the partnership receiving the contract, the declaring side, needs to take to receive points for the deal. During the auction, partners endeavor to exchange information about their hands, including the overall strength and distribution of the suits. The cards are then played, the declaring side trying to fulfill the contract, and the defenders trying to stop the declaring side from achieving its goal. Here we go at number 6. Number 6, Solitaire. Solitaire is finally a game you can play alone. Now I've got a green felt playing surface and a deck of cards in front of me, and the makings of a game of Solitaire. Game that can be played virtually anywhere. The game aims to create four piles of cards in each of the available suits that go from king all the way down to ace. In Solitaire, the ace counts as a one to play a game of Solitaire, you'll need to put one card face up and place six face down cards beside it. After that, place a single card on top of the first card face up, but slightly lower than the face down card. At the end of the setup, you should have seven rows of cards with the biggest row featuring seven cards and the smallest with only one card. Put the remaining cards in a separate pile and leave a space at the top of the table for four piles of cards. I'm sorry. That lost hand. Before we continue. Moving on to our top 5 playing card games in our personal opinions. Please do not forget to subscribe to our channel and hitting the notification button and sharing this video as much as possible. Number 5. Eights, known as Crazy Eights. You don't need a lot of- So excited! I'm so excited! The Eights shows us. The game can be played with up to 7 people, but it's best when you only have 2 people at a time. Each player in a game receives 5 cards, or 7 cards if there are only 2 of you, and the rest of the cards are put on the table, face down. The remaining cards are the stock, and there will be one card that's placed face up as a starting card. The first player needs to simply lay a card on the starting card that matches either its number or suit. If the player can't do this, then they need to draw a card from the stock. When the stock is gone, then the player who can't lay a card needs to pass. In a game of eights, eights are wild, which means that you can play them at any time, regardless of the suit or rank that came before. Number 4. Hearts. Hearts is a game meant for groups of at least three people. Throughout my lifetime, I've left pieces of my heart here and there, and now there's almost not enough to stay alive. For a chance to deal, the players cut the cards searching for the lowest number, then the whole pack is dealt with each player in a counterclockwise motion. After every card is dealt, each player will select three cards that they can pass to their opponents. Each player in a game receives five cards or seven cards if there are only two of you and the rest of the cards are put on the table face down. The remaining cards are the stock and there will be one card that's placed face up as a starting card. The first player needs to simply lay a card on the starting card that matches either its number or suit. If the player can't do this, then they need to draw a card from the stock. When the stock is gone, then the player who can't lay a card needs to pass. The player to the left of the dealer plays first in hearts, and he or she will win a trick when they play the highest card of the suit that's led. The winner of the trick in each case leads the next. You can't lead with a heart until a heart has already been played in the game or broken. Hearts are broken when someone lacks a card in the suit that's being used, so they add a heart to the mix instead. Hearts are usually played to up to 100 points, with the person who gets the 100 being the loser. Hearts has been around for a long time, with origins that go all the way back to a 1600s game that was played in France called Reverses. Number 3, Palace. Palace is a card game that you can play with up to six people at a time. Yeah, the way it is. Well, now I bring all sorts of pluses to the table. I hardly ever bluff, and I never, ever cheat. I don't believe it. <laughs> Neither do I. I like the game just the way it is. To give every player in your group nine cards. Three of these cards are dealt face down in front of the player. Three cards are placed face up, and the remaining three cards become the hand of the person who's playing. 
The first person who lays a 3 or the lowest card possible in the group is the person who starts the round. In turn, everyone in the group can place a card of either equal or higher value on top of the discard pile. Cards that share the same value can be placed together. For instance, four of the same suit will clear the discard pile completely as will playing any tens. Players continue to draw from the stock of remaining cards in the deck to ensure that they always have a three-card hand. When the stock is depleted, the player will be able to play their face-up cards and turn over their face-down cards if necessary. The idea is that the person who gets rid of their cards the fastest is the winner. Number 2. Poker Poker Is any of a number of card games in which players wager over which hand is best according to that specific game's rules in ways similar to these rankings. Down here to have a good time, they figure. Why not give poker a try? After all, how different can it be from the home games they've played their whole lives? All the luck Modern poker games, the first round of betting begins with one or more of the players, making some form of a forced bet, the blind or ante. In standard poker, each player bets according to the rank they believe their hand is worth as compared to the other players. The action then proceeds clockwise as each player in turn must either match or call the maximum previous bet or fold, losing the amount bet so far and all further involvement in the hand. A player who matches a bet may also raise, increase, the bet. The betting round ends when all players have either called the last bet or folded. If all but one player folds on any round, the remaining player collects the pot without being required to reveal their hand. If more than one player remains in contention after the final betting round, a showdown takes place where the hands are revealed, and the player with the winning hand takes the pot. The table plays five cards, start and draw poker. Standard rules, no ante, no canyon. Croupier will execute all shuffles and deal all hands, starting with the player to the left of the designated dealer. The designated dealer is indicated by the placement of the one penny copper piece, which the croupier will move in a clockwise fashion at the end of each deal. Number 1. Knockout Whist Let's start with a simple game that's fun to play with people of all ages. Knockout Whist Concentrate on the match, you don't think about anything else. Okay. That last round was good, but you gotta throw some more punches. Yeah, I know, I'm counting. Counting what? popular British card game suitable for between two and seven players. You'll need a single 52-card deck to play. In Knockout Whist, the ace is a high number. To play Knockout Whist, start by dealing seven cards to each player, beginning with the person on your list. The next card after the deal is turned face up on the table, and it becomes the trump suit. The player on the left-hand side of the dealer must place the first card, and the rest of your group will need to follow his or her lead if they can. The highest trump suit card in the game wins the trick, and if no one plays a trump then the highest card value number of the suit that the first player leads with will be the winner. The winner in any round leads the upcoming trick. After your group has played all seven of their cards, players that haven't achieved any tricks are removed from the game until just one person is remaining. My trick again, my goat. One more trick and the game is ours. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of our top 10 card picks. Here we go with some honorable mentions in today's video. Go Fish. Old Maid. Cribbage. Spoons. That is the end of our video for today. We hope you enjoy our personal picks on the top 10 playing cards. If you agree with any of the mentions, please be sure to write your comments in the comment section to tell us what are your favorite card games of 2021. Please subscribe to our channel as your opinions do matter to us here in the top 10. Until the next video, stay safe out there. Enjoy your week.